Ho! Joe Biden really is the gift that keeps on giving. It's really too bad that our former fourth estate is just a Democrat Party propaganda machine, or else Joe would be getting hammered right now. Not just for this incident, but many, many others in the past where Joe Biden is talking shit and going off on private citizens. This time, he actually tried to start a fight with a factory worker who called him out for his anti-Second Amendment policies. You are actually trying to diminish your Second Amendment right to take away everybody. You're full of shit. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Joe Biden. I want to make something clear. I'm going to guarantee you this is not the last year seen of this guy. You're going to take care of the gun problem with me. You're going to be the one who leads this effort. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15. Just wow. Not only did he tell this factory worker that he's full of shit, but you might have noticed that he told his female handler to shush. Can you even imagine the media uproar if Trump was that dismissive of a woman in front of the cameras? It's just another great example of the double standards that we're held to. Look, Trump may fight back against other politicians and fake news journalists, but he doesn't go after private citizens or voters like this. Biden apparently feels very comfortable behaving like this in front of the cameras because he knows the media is going to run cover for him. How many times has he had one of these blow-ups? It happens frequently. The fact is that no matter how Biden and his media attempt to spin this, he is a major threat to the Second Amendment. We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job, but first I have an important message for all my viewers. Stephen King once wrote, Panic is highly contagious, especially in situations where nothing is known and everything is in flux. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact, making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. The experts at My Patriot Supply have told me that orders have now reached about 100 times normal volume and they're shipping on a first come, first serve basis. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Second Amendment, just like right now, if you yell fire, that's not free speech. From the very beginning, I have a shotgun, I have a... 20 games, 12 games, my son's hunt, guess what? You're not allowed to own any weapons. I'm not taking your gun away at all. <laughs> okay. First, he throws out this stupid talking point that yelling fire in a crowded theater isn't free speech. That analogy was made during a Supreme Court case where a man was arrested for speaking out against the World War I draft. The analogy was stupid then because it had nothing to do with the case, and it's stupid now for the same reasons. It's the lowest level of discourse one can bring to the Second Amendment debate, so I'm not at all surprised that Biden trotted it out. Second, he claims this factory worker is full of shit because he himself owns many guns. He then goes on to list all the guns he owns, and they're all shotguns, which shouldn't surprise anybody because he says that shotguns are the only guns that we should be allowed to own. Hey. If you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun. If there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. But wait, didn't Biden just say this guy's full of shit? The government doesn't allow you to own guns. It is our right to own guns. When people like Biden say that the only gun that you should be allowed to use is a shotgun, it should send a chill up your spine because that's not the purview of the president. It also signals that yes, he does in fact want to take your guns because he only thinks that you should own shotguns. I did not say that. That's I not true. I did not it's say that. Video. It's a viral video like the other ones are putting out that are saying they're lying. Oh, well, he just clarified it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hey, let's take your AR, your AR-14s. Okay, this is not okay. Hold on, hold on. Hey, let's get a little bit of a There's a lot of guys. 
this just keeps getting better. Don't worry, Joe Biden doesn't want your guns. He just wants your AR-14s, whatever the hell those are. And did you all catch what happened when Biden started pointing at the factory worker? In case you didn't hear, the factory worker tells Biden to get his finger out of his face, to which Biden replies, I'll slap you. So what we have here is a Democrat presidential candidate threatening physical violence on a voter for asking him critical questions about his policies. You know why Joe gets upset? Because he's not used to this. He's used to slobbering Democrat Party media just lobbing softballs and attacking his critics. And here I can show you a couple examples of that already. Members of the media already jumping to Biden's defense. Don't, don't Here's the deal. Are you, are you able to uh, a machine gun? I, a machine gun? I said, are you able to own one? Machine guns are illegal. That's right. So AR-15s are legal. How is that in a machine gun? Well, it's not. It's semi-automatic. It's America with handguns and there are what you call assault rifles. Why are you advocating for assault rifles when people are buying the handguns? Bingo! This is where most left-wingers will recoil and retreat from the debate because they don't even really understand what it is they're banning. I, I personally think that uh, assault rifles should no longer be made or sold and the ammunition to them should no longer be sold because they're, they're not a, a weapon uh, used in hunting nor nor worthy of private individual protection. Well, are you talking about like an automatic, like an assault rifle fully automatic? Sure. Well, they're not fully, they're semi-automatic. Okay. I yeah. mean, semi-automatic is one pull trigger, one shot, which yeah. is what most guns are, whether it be a pistol or a rifle or... Um, well... Yeah, the only other option would be a three, uh, three burst, uh, three round burst, which again is with an assault rifle. You can't get that on a... Uh, on a, on a regular, what you would call an assault weapon. And I, I've, I've said enough to you. Okay, well, I've I, said enough to you, right, sir. I appreciate your time, though. You seem kind of angry. Because, because, because you're trying to go into all these little details. Well, these are facts. Oh, I, you know what? They're, they're inconvenient no, to what you're no, doing. No, they're not. No, they're not. Okay. They're nitpicking. They all want so-called assault weapons banned, but they don't even really understand what that means. As the factory worker correctly points out, the vast majority of gun crimes in this country are committed with semi-automatic handguns, not rifles. Good on this guy for having the balls to step up to Biden and call him out. He made Biden look like a complete fool. But unfortunately, the Democrat Party media will barely cover this story, if at all. And if they do, they'll make the factory worker look like the bad guy. Which is exactly why I make videos like this. If you enjoy my content and you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.